Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to animate this scene uh, with this walk animation using a reference video. Reference video is very important for you to use. It gives you reference to what that walk looks like. And you should shoot reference video in any animation that you don't know what to do with the animation, with the acting. You should act out your scene, shoot the reference video, and then put it up there and animate it. Not only uh, will it help you with the acting, but you can always deviate from it, not make it so literal. You can always embellish and change it up. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna stop this. I am going to start up a new file, 2D animation. Don't save this one, oh, I'm gonna save it zoom out there's my new file the first thing I'd like to do is bring in my reference footage I'm gonna to go to object mode go to add image reference I'm gonna to go to my desktop now uh, and I don't see my reference footage I see this walk cycle reference it's but that's a JPEG so I'm gonna to go to this filter drop down and uh, I want to I want this to show also movie files and there is my movie my my walk right to load reference and there it is there's my footage I'm gonna zoom out and I am going to uh, find a place where I can see him uh, I shot this in my backyard this is my son you shouldn't be worried about shooting yourself just get a get a tripod get a camera your phone set it up and then act it out shoot your own reference video I am going to make it a little bit larger only because this footage is a little bit small and then I'm going to place it uh, kind of in the middle I'm gonna make it a little bit larger again the, the footage is a little bit small and I want him to take up the entire uh, the entire frame. So there it is. I, I fit him. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna, I'm going to reduce the opacity. Go over here. Let's click on the object properties, and then click on object data properties, and turn on transparency, and bring it down to whew, about maybe six point or 0.6 or 7 and there it is uh, and I am going to go back to my stroke object which is my my drawing where I'm going to draw and create a layer I'm gonna create a sketch layer double click call it sketch and bring it down below the lines and the fills by clicking this white arrow there it is I am going to turn off the the lines and the arrows and then I'm gonna lock them so that I don't touch them uh, and I'm gonna sketch out here in the um, sketch layer I'm not going to turn on onion skinning because I don't need it I have each frame where I need it here in the uh, timeline I want to measure exactly from what frame to what frame I think his foot shows up here on frame seven or eight eight so I'm gonna start at frame eight and I'm gonna go all the way to frame as soon as he's completely out of frame oh see how he stops at frame 100 let's change that let's go back to object mode and let's go back click on this empty which is the reference footage and down here under image I'm um, um, in the uh, object properties in the image it says frames make sure you click here uh, let's say 200 for now and let's see if it covers the whole thing and then that way I can see exactly what frame last is last maybe frame 117 so I'm gonna make it to 120 the last frame is 120 and there we go we've set up we've set up the uh, animation I am going to start animating I'm gonna start drawing right here on frame 8 this is where the foot just shows up on that frame 
and I'm going to stop. But I have to I have to click the stroke object. In fact, we can change this in the outliner. Double click on that stroke and let's call it walk object obj. That way you know what it is. And this one, we can double click and call it reference video. Always try to be organized with your objects because uh, I know this is a very simple, simple scene. But once you get a complicated scene and you start piling up those objects, it's going to pile up here. So I'm going to go over to my walk object. That's my drawing object. Here's my sketch layer and I'm going to start drawing. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to move my, my frame. And then I'm gonna, just going to start drawing. So in this frame, frame 8, I'm going to select a pencil. And I'm going to select this red stroke. And start drawing right here uh, the, the tip of the foot. I'm going to draw on threes. Uh, I could do two, but there's so many frames that I just want to make this video a little shorter. But uh, So I'm going to draw on threes, every three frames. So to advance to frame 11, I'm just going to click on the keyboard, the right arrow. One, two, three. The right arrow to advance three frames and then start drawing again. So here is the foot. And then the arm comes into view. And I'm not going to draw a lot of detail. This is just a sketch. Remember, this is the sketch layer only to get the mechanics of the walk onto my frame. I'm not looking for detail. The drawing comes later. These are just sketches. These are rough sketches. So I'm going to advance three, three frames. One, two, three. I'm using the right arrow on the keyboard to advance three frames to frame 14 and then start drawing again. So this is the leg. I'm going to turn off onion skinning. And again, not being very accurate. These are sketches. And getting the arm drawn out. Again, the right arrow on the keyboard. One, two, three. And I'm going to start drawing. Shirt. And then I'm going to start drawing the head. I'm just going to do the jaw, the head, the ear, just to kind of identify that it is a head. And the arm. One, two, three. I will speed up the video so you can see the entire thing. I'm not going to uh, edit anything out. I'll let you see everything. But it's uh, very tedious and repetitive. And you don't really need to sit here for three hours while I draw this. And so I'm going to speed up the video and I will see you at the end and then we'll talk about it.
And there we are. Uh, we finished. Uh, let's see how uh, I'm going to go back all the way to the beginning. I'm going to turn off the reference video and just hit play. I'm going to let me, uh, oops, let me center this, turn off the reference video and hit play. And there it is. We have the mechanics of the walk, the timing, everything is there because we took it from the real life uh, reference video. And that's all you need. That's all you need is just to rotoscope or trace over the reference footage and you have the timing and how the, the, uh, the mechanics of the body work. All you have to do now is to draw out your actual character in the lines you can and you can do any character here instead of this uh, person you can do any character any one your characters you can embellish the walk you can uh, change up some of the mechanics like the arms you can make them higher whatever uh, and you can definitely make something else of this character for example maybe a monster or an alien or whatever it doesn't matter. Uh, you've got the timing. You've got the mechanics of the walk, the, how the body moves. Uh, you can always embellish, change, and uh, or replace. Uh, but that's it. That's that's all I have for you guys. Uh, have fun. Shoot your own reference video. There's plenty of reference websites. You can go on YouTube and find some reference video. Uh, download and have fun. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one.